all right peace love and life family this is Essie the homesteader bringing you guys another video with an update of the greenhouse and we're gonna start over here with the citrus and let me show you guys my lemon meyer right okay you guys so remember I was talking about pruning her all the way back but I think I'm gonna leave her be y'all see all those buds up there all that fruit that's about to form so what I'm gonna do is probably next week I'm way behind on um, up potting so I will up pot let me see all six of them probably leaving my Owari Satsuma which is over here which she is just really thriving y'all and then over here there's that Kalamondon that's full with fruit and everything seems to be doing really really well you guys and see the other Kalamondon that's loaded okay she is doing well but I also noticed a little browning on her leaves and it could be uh, because look see I'm probably gonna deal with a lot of uh, leaf drop at the moment being that they've been out in the cold and now they in some warmth they are probably going through a little transition uh, type of thing so over here is the um the line which i do have several lines on there as you guys can see and i'm noticing that the yellowing is somewhat dis disappearing i don't know if it's just me wanting it to go but it seems like every time i come out here and check up on it the yellowing seems to be going away little by little and again um I did pluck some of those damaged leaves off that had the browning on and I did pinch those but okay you guys so again here is that line remember I was telling you guys that I was gonna prune her back but I'm thinking once I up pot her and give us a little bit of fertilizer for the um, winter not too much just a little bit to get them through I think they're going to be just fine. Y'all see all the little budding fruits that's getting ready to form here? Okay. So that's the lime. And that's the lime quat over there. Kalamondin is still thriving. Lots of Kalamondin. The Awari Satsuma. She's getting taller and taller. Remember that's my Daiha Awari. And the lime. Lemon Meyer. I'm sorry, Lemon Meyer, and then the other Kalamondin. So everything is looking very happy out here in the greenhouse. Now, okay, you guys, let's check this out. So I brought the grow bags in that was on the uh, grow table, my salad bar grow table. And let me show you guys something that's so exciting. Okay, so we just brought these in the other day, but... Y'all know the weekend in Zone 8A, we had, I think, two, two days of rainfall. And look what happened, you guys. They were out in the rain. It was probably about 60-something degrees out here. And remember those seeds that I sold probably about three weeks ago? And I said it too. I said, now watch my seeds germinate because we had so much rain and it was kind of warm. Remember the last time I showed you guys, I had these two over here in the corner that had germinated. Remember the video I did saying, oh, I had two seeds. Well, look at it now, y'all. The whole bed is, is pretty much the seeds have germinated. From that cold, back to the warm, back to the rain, the spring rain, and they germinated. So, I'm super excited. Super excited. Okay. Now, this one over here is the cabbage bed. So, y'all see all the little seedlings popping out? That's the cabbage. So, I may just get me a nice harvest of cabbage this um, winter. And I have the netting that I need to cover this up to keep those bugs from getting in here or getting to them. Now, over here was the first bed on the grow uh, table which I had sold some carrots 
And again, I have not done too great with carrots. But I have some growing, and I'm thinking about coming right back in here. Y'all know how I like to sow seeds over and over until I get something. So I'm thinking I'm going to put some more seeds in here just to see. We're going to see. Now, over here is where I had sowed the kale. So y'all see, we got some kale popping through. And I'm going to monitor this for a minute because when, they were, when my um, sons was bringing it in, these bags was kind of heavy, so three of my sons was just carrying one. So they kind of, kind of damp, they're going through it in here. <laughs> so I may come back in here and even sow some more kale seeds. Look, look. And my son said, well, Ma, being that the dirt moved around some, they have some air pockets in there so they can breathe. <laughs> That's my nature boy. So they doing something. So this is the kale. Bring it in, bring it out some. So that's the kale grow um bag. And over here was this was more carrots. I don't know if I just did this one though. No. no, this is the other carrot um grow bag that I had did with the three varieties. Now, which is really weird. I'm not seeing anything in here just yet so um not even one i don't see not one yet but i'm gonna give it another week or two if nothing doesn't pop through the soil i'm gonna try another round but i'm determined to get me some carrots especially the the purple and the red one and the yellow i'm determined to get me some carrots all right you guys so let me step back so y'all guys can see what's going on. And over here is the um, spinach and collards. All right, you guys. So I was able to get some germination out there in that cold. But then it turned warm again. And then we got a lot, a lot of rain. So I guess the seeds said, well, what's going on here? Is it winter or summer <laughs> or spring? But they germinated. All right, you guys. So all the trees is doing well. And again, I need to up pot and I need to get to them soon. And once I up pot, again, that's that lemon mire. So I don't think I'm going to cut her back because I was really tempted to just chop her down and let her just um, establish her roots. And then I was thinking maybe I'll just get a whole bunch of lemons next season. But as you can see, they are already forming. Already. Okay, you guys. So that is my update on the greenhouse. Still don't know what the temperature is in here, but it's pretty warm. I'm waiting on my little um, Accu uh, thermostat. Thank you, Backyard Gardener. Queen Backyard Gardener, thank you for that, um, that tip. So I'm waiting on that so I can hang it up in here so I know what the temperature is when I come in and make sure they are comfortable, that everybody is comfortable and talking like they are um, human beings, right? But they are alive. All right, you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching my channel. Thank you to all my new subscribers. I hope you guys are enjoying my content. Make sure you hit that notification bell and make sure you thumbs up, like, and share the video. So this is Essie the Homestead and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.